so yesterday sir uh, just uh, said that uh, there are some inputs uh, we have used for four plan so can anybody tell what are what are the inputs for for four plan anyone anyone is okay uh rtl hello uh, tucha yeah, 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 yeah. sumrata yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are audible. Hello. Yeah, just turn on the camera and tell. Just turn on the camera and tell. Hello. Yeah, just turn on the camera and tell. Okay. Uh, inputs of floor planning is. Yeah, tell me the inputs for floor floor plan. Okay, so okay, someone will just tell me. Mm, yeah, so Mahendra, you want to tell? <clears throat> yeah. Okay. Uh, so <clears throat> netlist is needed. Okay. Okay. Uh, and uh, for accessing the four plan, there are two kinds of methods for uh, uh, we we can create the floor plan. Uh, one no, is I the, said the inputs. Nor the method or yeah 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 I will tell you uh, one is the def file is the def file is the one of the input okay uh, by using the def file we can create the uh, uh, floor plan or by using the initialized floor plan and uh, the inputs for the floor plan are the um, technology file needed and netlist and SDC. or uh, library files and uh, tla plus file okay okay so what the sdc file contains sdc file uh, so, uh there are three kinds of constraints available in the sdc uh for designing purpose uh, some constraints and uh, for timing purpose some constraints okay uh, for timing uh, <coughs> uh, this, uh, uh, clock definitions and uh, max transition max capacitance max fan outs and uh, uncertainty values these are all the in sdc okay okay these are constants uh, simply goals design designing goals okay You okay. can achieve that goals. Uh, it is a good good design. Okay. The must have need a library files. Okay. For the uh, NDM files are we are using in synapses. Okay. For cadence uh, it is different. NDM new data model files are needed. Uh, it is a combination of uh, lib lib and uh, technology files left files okay anything else uh then uh, in hdc file uh, there are uh, two clocks right uh, one is virtual clock and the uh, one is normal clock we have actually we have to define this clock right so what is the difference between the normal clock and the virtual clock virtual clock uh, means real clock real clock okay that that clock you are using for for your block a uh, virtual clock virtual means virtual clock means real clock no no e clock clock means your clock you are using you are using in the your design okay virtual clock means uh, suppose suppose uh, if you have a, uh, another block another block in your neighbor neighbor block okay okay some some output can get from that uh, neighbor block so we we didn't we didn't know what is that what inside uh, in that block what happened in that block so we can assume that someone some block is driven from that uh, some some someone is driven from the bl that block so okay. we can assume that as a virtual clock okay oh. virtual yeah. clock is driven from from your block So, what is the difference between the virtual clock and the normal clock? 
So, virtual clock means uh, uh, virtual clock means it's not real. Okay. Okay. Uh, real clock means uh, that you are using in your design. Okay. You have to specify that in SDC file by yeah, using yeah. create clock command. Actually, uh, the main difference between the virtual clock and the normal clock is if you observe this SDC file properly, in for the normal clock, there are source point, right? Yeah. But for the virtual clock, there are no source point are mentioned in our SDC file. So you don't want that, right? Or you need only a real clock? No, no, you have to just, it is requirement purpose. Okay, okay. Okay, there are, suppose two blocks are there. Oh. So okay. for the transition purpose, you don't know what kind of transition you record. So that's why you have to think that there is a clock for the input transition at least. Yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yeah. yeah. It's okay. Then yeah, you also asked the question. Also. You don't mind that you can also ask the question. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, do you know about these sanity checks or uh, before going to the PNR? Yeah, yeah. Actually, sanity check uh, before floor plan. Yeah, before floor plan. Yeah. Actually, the sanity check, uh, the English meaning of sanity check is the purity check of the design. After synthesis, we and the before the floor plan, we need to check the sanity check. So here we have to check whether there are pin informations are good or bad, the cell information. Then you have to check whether there are any duplicate cells or not. Then uh, we have to check uh, whether our inputs with the floating pins or the inputs with the tri state driver and are there any uh, combinational loops are there or not. So we have to check. Actually, okay, combinational if, loop, design, uh -huh. if you design have combinational loop, what happened? Yeah, actually it will, uh, it, it actually it is very, uh, what to say, it is very dangerous for our design. If you have combinational loop in your design, then it will cause us meta stability. Which parameter will affect? Meta stability. Uh, meta stability. Meta stability is the process. We don't know what will be the uh, our uh, future result, future output. Yeah, it will, it will also improve the runtime also to improve, okay? Yeah, yeah. If you have a combinational loop or in our design, we can uh, break this. Actually, you have to break this arc uh, after inserting a buffer. Uh, obviously, uh, in buffer, there are arc, right? So we have to just uh, break this arc. <clears throat> then we can just uh, break the combinational loop also. That's correct. Yes. Yeah. We, have, uh, we insert the buffer in that loop. We can break. Yeah. It it, uh, it 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 uh, improves the runtime. Okay, yes, yes. less runtime it will. Yeah. Hello, Mahendra. Tell me. Hello, Mahendra. Tell me, tell me, check me. Uh, can you brief about the sanity checks? Yeah. Uh, okay. What are all the descriptions? Is there is there checking of the netlist and uh, SDC checks, library checks? Is there no? Yes. Uh, in the designs, is there anything differ the, about inside the check design? What will be happen? Is there any different? Uh, in the design checks, uh, uh, floating. If there are any floating pins and uh, multi driven nets are and uh, undriven input ports and uh, are un unloaded outputs. All this, all these checks are will, uh, all these things will check. Okay, and unconstrained pins. Is there any? Is there any in that stage? We have to all this, We have to check all these things, and we have to correct them. In in it is related to the only the design checks. Check design is the command. We have to uh, checking the all these things. Okay. 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 Uh, is there good for the design if there is a port and the floating port and the floating pin? If you, you can defer the floating port and floating pin? Uh, CMOS will not allow these floating pins. Okay. So, okay. so we are, so we are more focusing on that. 
no 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 there is a concept called uh, flo if uh, floating pin is there means it's uh, not not an issue if uh, floating port is there means it's issue okay okay on that concept do you know anything about that no no uh, i know cmos will not allow this floating ports uh, but i don't know what happened exactly this but, okay uh, Okay. Uh, floating pin, non-stop pin, stop pin, implicit stop pin. These are the uh, CTS uh, exceptions, right? One second. Come again. Uh, this uh, this floating pin, then stop pin, non-stop pin, implicit stop pin, exclude pin. These are the uh, CTS. Uh, what is it? No, no. I am not asking that. No, no. These are timing exceptions, right? No, it's not about the floating. I am asking about the what are all the. If floating pin is there, means what is the go, not affect about the design? If floating port is there, means it will not affect the design like that. There is something. Uh, if input is there, means uh, your block and your block output is for another block's input. No, port should yeah. not be floated. If pin is been floated, means it's okay, exceptional. But port should not be floated. output port should not be full floated that's it hello hey yeah, atel uh, output float should not be uh, this one uh, it's it's not be empty it should be dri driven to another uh, block it will be driven to another block that's it okay Uh, is there a, in uh, in CMOS we have combination of both uh, PMOS and NMOS, right? And uh, PMOS in up pull up network and uh, NMOS in pull down network, right? So what happen if you interchange that? Hello. 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 Shall I try? it will act uh, like a buffer buffer right but uh, weak buffer sir sir we yeah, told yeah. Yeah, we will see for the pmos uh, uh, pmos is good to pass logic on right yes yeah, and the nmos uh, that is good to pass uh, logic zero so if we uh, exchange then uh, then pmos will uh, give the weak one Mm. And most will provide the weak uh, zero. So no, that not, will sorry. Uh, not buffer. Uh, it is a weak buffer. I think. Yeah, yeah. Anyone know about the L proximatic effect? Which one? L proximatic effect. Right. Oh. no actually i don't have any idea about that okay you be sure what oh, we are using end cap cell state or uh, it called as uh, end cap cells uh, ah this is a physical cell only because it is not signal connectivity uh for for nvel connection uh, it we uh, the end cap cells are used for two purpose for uh, avoiding this cell uh, well proximatic effect and uh, nvel connect nvel connectivity connection nvel continuity connection and uh, we normally use the end cap cell at the end of the circuit right yeah yeah name says well proximity uh, okay tell me less is the new new name for me Hello. Yeah, Devi, tell me. Yeah, uh, can you explain about this uh, client and matter placement? If there is any difference, virtual and macro placement. Please, can you repeat? Actually, some glitches mm -hmm. are there, so. Yes, yes. Uh, I want to know what what are the client lines and macro placements? What is client? Client is the see. Uh, 
actually it is a virtual connections between the macros and macros this is called okay. the filing okay. what is its purpose sorry sorry i may know the purpose Of this Actually, see, it will show you which macro have connection with another macro. Okay. On the basis of this, we have to place the macros in our core area, right? Yes, sir. Yes. And uh, uh, this hard matches and soft matches. The concept of floor plan. Mm-hmm. Floor plan. Okay. I just want to know the difference of this. This thing. Uh, actually, can you repeat? I'm not getting you. Um, actually, uh, in the concept of floor planning, the floor placement is uh, divided into two parts, uh, two types by the hard macros and soft macros. Okay. In the uh, uh, in the last class, Manindra told about that like uh, hard macros uh, is integrated by the top level thing and soft macros integrated by the upper level thing. What actually? What actually is uh, happening in this hard macros and soft macros? I am not get it. Soft macros will integrated by the RTL team. Hard macros okay. will integrated by the top level guys. Top level team. Okay. Uh, what we, actually? We do not. We don't know what exactly in the in the hard macros. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, what about the soft macros? After macros will integrated with the RTL team, right? Uh, so they will take care about the that. So, so we are using only uh, only macros, uh, not 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 doing any functionality. We are focusing only on the placement, macros placement. Okay. Yeah, Devi. Yeah. Uh, actually, before we told that uh, in the fancy text uh, duplicate, uh, we have to uh, we can identify this duplicate things are there now. Uh, how could we know that the duplicate things are there? Uh, actually, in the sanity uh, check. Like, uh, actually, can you write the question here in um, the chat box? Ah, uh, like uh, before only we have explained about the purpose of the sanity check. Like purity check of a design. Yes. After yes. this is done before we analyze, and uh, it has been explained a few points. Sir, uh, we can identify the duplicate pins, and uh, we can uh, also identify the combination loops. So, uh, what is combination loops? So that how can we eliminate those? So for like that only, how can we identify this uh, duplicate pins? Okay, actually, I think if you write this uh, report design command. It will show all the things. Can you repeat again? Report. If you write this common report design or check design, it will show okay. if uh, any uh, duplicate cells are not are there. Actually, uh, I think it will show. It 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 will show. Okay. Okay. In uh, actually, in which uh, tools you are going to use? ICC or uh, Cadence? Uh, I said that actually, which tools you used? ICC two or uh, Cadence? For ICC two, that uh, to check the difference. Since you know us, right? Huh? Ah, okay. Cadencing in Cadence in Universal, yes, yes. And for the synopsis, that is ICC two. For synopsis, it is ICC two. Yes, yes. Which one you are using? I Did used uh, ICC two. Synopsis, okay. Yeah. Uh, how many blocks you are doing? In my design, uh, there are forty plus blocks in there. I mean, how many blocks you are done? Okay, two uh, blocks. Two blocks. Two blocks. Yeah. Okay. Is there any issues you are facing in you, you are doing your project? Ah, uh, legalization was failed. 
actually because i used a uh, uh, keep out uh, margin as yeah, uh, four uh, four actually four uh, blocks are uh, were together so to remove that i used i used keep out margin to remove congestion but it, it shows this legalization because uh, I, actually i did not know that uh, this keep out margin have the same properties like macros right mm -hmm. so that was it shows this legalization issues ప్రాబ్లమ్ for that for that we are using the cell padding yeah cell padding is the solution for that cell padding then we I in put, placement uh, stage we can do the refund placement also right yeah i'm refund placement is the one of the technique to optimization i mean yes. uh, for for congestion avoiding yeah, yeah. congestion yeah, yeah. is that the one one of technique for uh, cell padding is uh, for avoiding this uh, congestion yes cell padding or we call it as a keep out margin keep out uh, margin okay uh, be between those uh, oa and uh, oa cells so anyone have any questions to ask anyone do you want to discuss more anyone fine sir okay fine okay fine. So, yeah. sir yeah so we are ending this meeting thank you guys thank you so much yeah okay thank you thank, thank you, you. Thank thank you. you.